we kind of fell into this, my, both my wife and I are, uh, uh, were professionals and we got uh, killed by the economic recession. And so we, we basically looked at each other and, and said, you know, now do, what do we do for a living now? And so we, we knew one thing that we knew very well and that happened to be food. And so we decided to, to go in that direction really out of necessity. It kind of sought uh, us out. We didn't necessarily seek it out. And food really, my whole life and my wife's whole life, really has been something that we always enjoyed. Food was always a focal point around a around table. So food just seemed right and it seemed like the natural next thing to do as we tried to reinvent ourselves. So that's kind of how the, the birth of Mogo Chef really came out of that process. And it really was driven by the media and, and all the hype that food trucks were getting uh, out there. And it's something that we felt we'd have a lot of fun with. It's hard to do this business on the side of the road waiting for people to stop. And so what better venue than probably the biggest university on Long Island, uh, which is SUNY at Stony Brook, and one that's pretty close to where I live, so it'll be easy to get here. So it just seemed like a perfect environment for the type of food we do. I, I guess we, we tried to seek food items that, A, we enjoyed, stuff that we ate, stuff that we felt that kids would enjoy, things that are a little bit different, that perhaps weren't served on campus. We decided to go more the gourmet route uh, because we just felt we, we can add a twist to some basic stuff that kids like, but yet make it in a way that it's something they probably never tasted before. The, the winners seem to be these smoothies have gone up, the margaritas have gone over well, and the burgers, and uh, a lot of the stuff actually has uh, gone over really well. So. The, because we put our heart and soul into the food and all the food that we've cooked in the past, the responses have been amazing. Uh, I guess overwhelming in that there's so many kids that have come up to us and really thanked us and complimented us. Uh, so it's, it's humbling that, that you know, that we, what we set out to do is working.